I got the following question. What is the best strategy to cluster keywords from Google Search Console? Also then when I did a keyword clustering, how can I identify a new article to create? And as well, how can I identify existing article to optimize? So let me show you that today uh, with through keyword clustering, how you can achieve that. First thing is let's have a look at the Search Console. So here you are in my Search Console and what you can see here is the default view. And my recommendation is to not use this keyword. Why? Because here you have a list of keywords where you are already ranking pretty well and you won't find great uh, content idea. So pure recommendation would be to create some filter. So you are in the search result page, uh, then you open a new filter on, on the page. So I like to do a filter on page. Uh, for instance, I take this one. So here I have a page about creating content outlines. Uh, let's say I want to create related articles around content online or around this main topic to get more, uh, let's say, authority on this specific topic. So I could just enter here the URL of my page and you will get a list of keywords that are related to this page. So obviously, this page uh, generates keywords around the topic of content online, content online example, etc. So it will be a great way to cluster all these keywords and then uh, identify topics and not keywords. Okay. Another way will be as well to create another filter on the query. Here you can enter uh, a list of keywords that you would like to have in, uh, in your final list. So for instance, I want to speak to create content about content brief or use this character or outline. Okay. Use the regex and now it will uh, lists all the keywords that contain content brief or outline. So here you have content brief generator, content outline, SEO content brief, content outline example. Okay. And now the goal will be to uh, group these keywords to identify uh, topics. Um, what you should do uh, once you have defined your list of keywords, you can export that as an Excel. And then you go to through. Here I'm in the dashboard of through you can access the keyword clustering tool from here. So click here and from there you can upload your list of keywords and start the process. It will take a few minutes. So I already prepared one from the menu. You can access all your cluster from here and let me open this one. So this one is exact. So there is 329 keywords uh, in our export. There is 227. Okay. But it's exactly the same filter here. So uh, it's exactly the point here. I wanted to have um, identified topics related to content brief or content outline because my goal is to uh, create new content, right? So let me explain quickly the interface. So here what you can see is a group of keyword, uh, a keyword cluster basically. So the main topic is content brief and all these keywords here display the same sort. Through is using SERP similarity. So when two keywords display more or less the same SERP, they are grouped together. Like this, you can guarantee that you uh, don't cannibalize uh, each other. So each cluster should not cannibalize the other one because it answers a specific request or it, it, it displays a specific uh, Google SERP. So basically, it displays a specific answer to the people searching. So now the goal of the keyword clustering tool is to be able to identify topics that will become articles. Okay. So now uh, let's find new article. So if I want to create brand new article that are, that are not yet on my blog, what I can do is quite simple. I can go here in the filter and select not ranking. So here you will find all the cluster where we are not ranking, meaning where there is no article ranking yet for one of these keywords and easily just click on this icon and you can add it to your favorite because now the goal is to start selecting uh, our future articles, right? So select the one you like and here you go. You can start building your list of content. There is a few trick here. What you can do is to play with the filter and especially one, the page rank. The page rank in through is basically uh, the domain authority. So what you can do here is to filter uh, keyword cluster based on the average page rank. So my recommendation would be to check below 50 and here you will find uh, keyword uh, clusters 
where the competition is not uh, that strong okay so basically you can find low hanging fruit and just select the one you like by clicking on the favorite icon okay so let me go back to the other view we can go to we display all and now you can see i display all and i'm back to the uh, the, um, the first view and here you can see i have also have an icon displaying uh, the ranking so for this cluster i'm ranking in average at the position 46. so basically i have one article ranking for these different keywords at this position in average so also here you can identify cluster where you are not ranking well you can play with the ranking position here and maybe start to select the one above 50 60 up to you okay and here you can identify as i said keywords or sorry keyword cluster or topics let's speak about topic where you could maybe optimize article rankings there or maybe create even a new article with true what is great is that you can analyze the content of a cluster so you can click here and it will open a new view and through will perform a keyword cluster analysis so there is five keywords in this cluster and through will analyze the five google SERP. okay here you have a view of all your competitors for these five keywords and you can see the average position so basically this one is ranking over the five keywords as a position uh, 1.8 in average so already just by looking at this you can already understand that well for the for this cluster blog outline template you can just by looking at the title uh, that speak obviously about blog post outline how to write a blog post outline and so on okay and if you go in the keywords tab you will figure out uh, or you will find the article your article uh, ranking for this cluster and here basically i have two articles as you can see here ranking for this cluster so basically google doesn't really know uh, which is the best article for this set of keywords so for one keyword it's ranking uh, this one and for uh, three other keywords it's ranking that one so and if i open that one it's about uh content brief content brief template for blog post okay so this one is ranking but not at the at the, like you can see maybe in average at the position uh, 80 or even more but you can see that this article clearly doesn't answer the search intent because when we look at at our uh, competitor here we can see that they speak about blog post outline when we speak about content brief template for a blog post so not really the same topic right um so with true yes you see you have a lot of information here i won't go into detail but you can understand uh, the main the topic or the frequent terms used by your competitor you can analyze the outline uh, of your competitor you can see the most frequent questions are answering and so on so here clearly uh, what I need to do is to create a new content for this uh, for this uh, keyword cluster. I won't be able to optimize my my existing article because these two articles maybe they rank well for other keywords. But as I said, Google believe that these two are the best candidate for this set of keywords, but obviously they're not good enough. So here, I really need to uh, to uh, create a new content. Okay. So let's go back. To the main view because i would like to show you something else as well so if you want to optimize existing content what you should do here is to do the same process but focus maybe on the article ranking between the page let's say 10 15 to to 20 25 or 30 because here you will find article obviously this one i guess we can optimize it uh, we will have to analyze the cluster uh, but here it's already ranking let's say not so bad obviously but i guess you will be able to uh, to improve it so here the goal will be to analyze the, the cluster to understand what kind of topics your computer are ranking for and and um and then improving your article so let's quickly have a look so again the same story you have here the list of of uh, competitor you can find uh, what kind of topics they cover you can as well check the outline and so on 
And also here, if you go to the keyword tab, you can see that, well, here I have two articles again ranking. Uh, I guess this one is the best. Yes, this one is the best. So maybe the goal will be to really improve this article. You can audit the page and you will get some recommendation to, to, um, to improve the page. So basically, just recap what I explained so far. So to figure out new content to create, check um, where you're not ranking or check where you're ranking, let's say above the position 50. To optimize existing content, check uh, article that, where, that are ranking between the position 10 and 30, and then check your competitor and optimize the best ranking article of the cluster. Then uh, there is another uh, cool uh, view in through, uh, it's a pages view. So here's a kind of opposite view, in fact. Um, uh, well, this is how I explain basically, but what you can see is one, uh, one article, and you can see for all the cluster it is ranking. So here you can see this article, so basically it's that one, by the way, 15 expert tips to create content outline. So here you can see that it's ranking for content outline, which is a target keyword at the position 11. So, okay, I think it's quite good, uh, to be honest. Content outline example as well. So it's ranking for two uh, clusters. This is fine. I said uh, initially that you have one article, one cluster, but obviously it could happen that sometimes you have one article ranking for two clusters. It's okay, as long you are ranking well. But here you can see there is 35 clusters. So this article, is ranking for 35 clusters. So it's generating a lot of keywords, okay? On, so, but obviously uh, these clusters are not ranking well. So uh, let's let's try to, to, to focus on this one. But first, why do you think uh, this article is ranking for, for uh, uh, this article about content outline? Why do you believe it's, it's also ranking for listicle outline? Obviously, I assume I must speak about listicle outline at some point. If I search, uh, let me search again. I think I have listicle, yes, listicle content outline. So here you can see this article at the end is mentioning listicle content outline. And just like a little paragraph here, just explaining what is a listicle content outline. So here, obviously, again, you, my first recommendation would be to, to create um, a dedicated article, like the same story, check the keyword cluster, analyze uh, the competitor, and, um, and then create a new article. But also here, you can see that you can link from this article to that article. So basically here, what I will do, once the new article is created, I will simply add a link here from maybe this, uh, this text here, I will create a, 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 an anchor that link to my new article about listicle outline. You get it? So yeah, by following this approach, you can f identify how you can properly link all your article together, okay? One last thing. So now we understood how to uh, uh, find new topic. And by the way, once I uh, selected all my topic, what I can do is display the favorite. So you can click here and you, have on, you will have only your favorite. Let's be just, so here you have a list of favorites. You can also jump to the table view. So here you have a list of all the articles that I would like to create, okay? And then also what is great is that um, you can as well directly uh, create a content brief from uh, an article. So you can directly jump here and it will open a new view where you can start basically creating uh, a content brief. And with through you have different elements to create comprehensive content brief. Uh, you can analyze the title again. You can create a, a title using AI to create the title. You can also create outline obviously by looking at your competitor or as well generating uh, AI outline. I won't develop uh, this part uh, in this video, but I will create another video uh, dedicated to uh, the content brief generator. So I hope you find this video helpful. Now, your next step will be to try through, create a free account and cluster your first keywords.